Hi, so today um, we're in a neighbour's garden who's given us permission to come in and collect the elderflowers. So we just snipped them off the tree. I've managed um, to get nearly half a carrier bag full. Um, and we're looking for 80 flower heads today to enable us to make 50 bottles of champagne, which would be wonderful. Um, what we're looking for when we pick the flowers is we actually look at the reverse of the head and we're looking for black markings like this which means um, the flies and insects are, are laying eggs on them so we literally just snip that piece off and we take the rest of the head and we just check each flower that we snip off individually look at the reverse see if we can see where the eggs are remove that section and use the rest of the flower. As I say, we're looking for 80 flower heads today to enable us to make 50 bottles of champagne. And um, we've, we've taken some heads from another neighbor next door because this is her tree, it just overhangs on this side of the garden. So both neighbors gave us permission to collect the elderflowers. Um, I shall continue till we get the 80 and then we'll resume with the next part of this recipe. So welcome back to the Wallflowers Kitchen. So today, um, as you know, we've just been and picked some of the elderflowers to make some champagne. So at this stage, um, I've taken 29 heads. Um, check them thoroughly um, what I'm actually checking for is black marks like these which are actually insect eggs so don't let this put you off it's just part of general nature um, so you've got a couple of choices here you can actually cut the whole stem off with a pair of scissors or you can wipe them off with a cloth and seeing as I think this is not such a bad infestation, I'm actually going to try at first to just wipe them off and clean the stem. And if I think that's sufficient, I shall then add that to the bucket with the rest of them. I'm just going to check with my glasses on that I'm quite happy with that. And that now will go along with the other 29 into my bucket. Now, just like everyone else, I'll follow a quick little recipe as I go along, so I've written my notes. So, next into the bucket, we'll go two and a half kilos of sugar. So, this is my first half kilo of sugar. And then, Full bag. Not the glamorous open bag, but the quickest route is always the best. Pieces of boiling water which I have prepared in the canner. I've just literally filled it with water and I actually now need five jugs per bucket. Um, in this recipe as I've mentioned you can get um, up to 50 uh, 500 ml um, bottles of 50 500 ml bottles of champagne from this recipe that I'm actually talking about today. Um, we actually prefer a larger bottle. Because 
the bottles we're actually using today um, I'll show you now just a glass bottle with a, a metal lid um, once it's brewed we will then store in these bottles and there's a funny story about these bottles generally people buy bottled water for the water um, and the glass bottle itself is a byproduct <laughs> we actually purchased this water for the bottle and the water was the byproduct for us um, it cost five pounds for 24 bottles of water which was great for us because we knew we had this recipe um on the back burner um our son thoroughly enjoyed the water um, which was highly discounted for this certain brand um and we've now got the privilege of using the bottles and storing it um, as bottles of champagne so I quite like that. We prefer the waste product than the actual product that was in it. But there you go. <laughs> so back to the recipe. Um, I've got one jug in so far, so I've got four to go. Um, the recipe actually calls for uh, white wine vinegar. We don't have any, so we're just simply going to replace it with the last of the apple cider vinegar that we do have. Um, I know another ingredient you can use if you don't have the white wine vinegar is actual wine um, and it'll work just as good so we can't always get out especially in this climate we can't always get out and get the ingredients that we'd like for certain things um, you should always have a quick search on the internet or somewhere and see all the other ingredients that you can use to replace use what we actually have so that's two a couple of times in baking we've actually used a couple of spoons of mayonnaise in the placement of an egg um, you can actually use flax seeds linseed in the placement of egg um, you can actually use linseed and flax seed for quite a lot of things um, health benefits hair benefits skin benefits the worthy of a, a little research of flax seeds and then seeds. Right, so this is jug number three. I know I keep talking about this canning machine and it being an American thing. Um, ours is actually German, as I've said in a previous video. Um, and it's a godsend. We, we are able to store an awful lot of food in it. But this can be used to heat mulled wine, to make large amounts of tea, coffee, um, or as we use this today, just to boil water. And I just think it's absolutely amazing. I'd be stood for quite some time if I was waiting for a kettle to boil or, you know, lots of pans on the go. And I just think it's so convenient, you know, I can stand here quite relaxed and just wait for it to fill the jug. Um, they are worth looking at, you know. Things are worth looking at buying in bulk as well, such as the lemon juice I'm about to use. Um, no different to any other. Um, lemon juice except normally we go to the supermarket we tend to find them in small bottles for a pound of milk it's no problem you know lemon or lime a uh, pound a bottle i've got that big massive bottle there for just a pound um you need to look around and see do you want money you spend and make the most of it and this is the last job now um I'm going to put the lemon and lime, lemon and vinegar in. We made champagne last year. It was the first time we'd made it last year. And we followed a recipe by Hugh Finn Whittington, I think his name is. And he made a hundred bottles for a festival. Uh, it's still on YouTube, um, worthy of a watch. Uh, we thought it was quite funny and we thought, right, we're going to have a go ourselves. So we went off and did the forage. 
we came back and we made the champagne and we didn't know whether it was just going to be goo in a bottle or it was actually going to gonna be working. So uh, finally when the brewing dates were up and we got to try it, it was wonderful. It was absolutely wonderful. I'm just so excited and that's why we're making so many bottles this year because it's just champagne, you know, and you just put it away and bring it out when, you know, special occasions, whatever you want, give it as gifts. You know, it's amazing. Champagne. Champagne's expensive. So, next on my list, I have a top up with seven and a half jugs um, of cold water for each bucket. Now, I'm just hoping it's going to take it, does it? I'm sorry my taps are so noisy it must be awkward on video so that's one two three So it's 10 tablespoons of lemon for each bucket. I'm actually doing um, 12 and a half bottles worth in each bucket. Um, it just makes sense because of the biggest things I've got. So putting 10, one, oh, two and a half, three, four, five, six, seven, tablespoons of the vinegar in, the, in each bucket. I think it might have been tiny amount of scoby going there as well, but I'm sure it can only help the fermenting process. So, now we have everything in. Let's take a wooden spatula, because we never want to use metal going in, in case somehow it contaminates, it has a reaction. So there... We have all the sugar, the flowers, the lemon, the vinegar, the hot and the cold water. And we're going to let that steep for a week. Um, and after a week, we shall then bottle it up. Um, once it's bottled up, we should come back, gas it each day. Um, tighten the bottle firmly again and then after four weeks it's ready and waiting to be drunk really so take your time don't overindulge but get out there and pick some elderflower we will come back um after a week and show you um the bottling up process uh and then we'll come back again and show you when it's done but thank you for watching please like please subscribe and I'll be back again shortly.